Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this silver purple smoky eye for a night out. I actually use the Nightlife collection by Camila Coelho and Sigma Beauty. So I'll leave all the links down below if you're interested in seeing what products I used in today's makeup look. This is going to be a talk through tutorial. I usually, I usually use voiceovers, but I decided to do something a little different Hopefully you guys like it. Leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this makeup look or what else you want to see. Um, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Well, first off, I'm going to start off by just applying a mask to my lips. And I'm using the Bite Beauty of Agave Lip Mask. And I just got this recently. I really like it so far. I like to wear it um, before I go to bed and just leave it on for the entire night. So if you guys have watched my past videos, I'm sure you guys know that I like to start off with my base first and then my eye makeup. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Step 1 equal Skin Equalizer Face Primer today and this is the hydrating one. This is like my all-time favorite primer ever. Um, the smoothing primer is also great as well, but my skin is actually not as hydrated as I would like it to be, so I always use this one. Um, so I'm just going to apply this all over my face and get it ready for foundation. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick for my foundation today. If you guys have also watched my past videos, you guys know that I reach for this foundation the most. It's like my all-time favorite foundation, my holy grail foundation, and it's a medium to full coverage foundation. So if you like more medium coverage, you don't have to apply as much, but I'm pretty heavy handed with my foundation just because I really like a full coverage look. So, and this does have a dewy finish, I feel like. So I wouldn't say it's ideal for oily skin people. So I'm just gonna blend this out with a damp beauty blender. And the color is in Y405. And if you are more familiar with the older um, Ultra HD foundation, it's um, the shade 153, which is golden honey, I believe. After foundation, I like to move on to brow, so I'm going to do that actually off camera just because it's really difficult for me to do brows on camera, so I will be right back. My brows are done, I'm going to start correcting my under eyes and just finishing off the face. And today I'm going to use the new Naked Skin um, Color Correcting Fluid by Urban Decay. This is in peach and this will correct the dark um, circles under my eyes. And I'm just going to apply this... Um, like an upside down triangle, like if I were to <laughs> highlight. And I really like this color correcting fluid because I really love the Naked Skin Concealer already. So I like using the Naked Skin Concealer on top of this and together it just works amazing. And my favorite way to blend this out is with the MAC 130 brush. It's like a short duo fiber. And I'm just going to be blending this out. Okay, so next I'm going to basically conceal the corrector with the Naked Skin um, concealer by Urban Decay and this is in medium neutral. So the shade is pretty close to my skin tone. It's probably like a shade lighter than my skin tone. So it's not like a really bright highlight. So I'm just going to use the same MAC 130 dual fiber brush to blend it out.
To set my under eyes now, I'm going to bake with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I have to bake my under eyes because it's the only thing that prevents my under eyes from creasing. So it's really not necessary to bake. Take a regular beauty sponge and just dip it into the powder and just apply it underneath the eyes to set and bake. Um, what I'm gonna do now is actually just I like to finish up my whole entire face and then after doing that I'm just gonna wipe off the excess powder. So right now I'm just gonna move on to basically hiding the rest of my face and I'm gonna use the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. This is my all-time favorite highlight and contour pen. Um, this is in the shade I believe Vanilla Caramel and what I really like about this is that there's only one highlight shade and one contour shade. It's not like the cream contour kits where it comes with like three different shades of a contour and three different shades of a highlight. So I like how this is just one highlight shade and one contour shade. So I'm just going to highlight my forehead and I'm just gonna dot this on. And I'm just gonna highlight my chin area. And then I'm gonna highlight my nose. So then I am going to just start contouring now my face. I'm going to use the side. This is Caramel. And I'm going to start off by contouring my nose. And then contouring my hollows of the cheeks. The forehead and temples. When it comes to blending out kind of like my nose highlight and my contour, I like to use a micro beauty blender and I'm not going to use this wet so I'm just going to start blending this out. And kind of what you'll see is I'm going to kind of go back and forth between a beauty blender and a brush just because I find that blending out the contour is a little bit harder than blending out the highlight. and to really make it look flawless I find that it's easy to move back and forth with a beauty blender and a brush move in with a fluffy brush to start blending the contour and I'm this is just a Sonia Kasha number 109 brush like a fluffy crease brush So now to blend out the rest of my face, the highlight areas at least, I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender to blend it all out. Um, for the contour, I actually like using the, a brush. So I'm going to use this Real Techniques um, dual fiber brush and just blend this out. I'm going to set my face with the Makeup Forever HD press powder. It's just a translucent press powder. And I'm going to use a Firma Beauty 101 brush, which is just a big powder brush. And I'm just going to pat this in my face just to set everything so it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to start um, contouring with blushes now and... I mean, contouring with contour shades and um, applying blush and highlight. So the first thing I'm going to use is this bronzer by Sigma Beauty. And it's from the Nightlife Collection um, by Camila Coelho. Coelho? I have no idea if I'm saying it right. But it, I'm going to kind of deepen up my contour with this shade. And I'm going to use this brush also from the Nightlife Collection. This is the Sigma large angle contour brush which is f40 I'm just gonna place this on my brush and just 
deepen up the contour a bit. Apply this in areas where I contoured with the NYX shade. So I'm just going to apply it on my forehead and temples as well. I'm going to go back with that Sonia Kashuk brush and take some on my brush and just contour my nose. For blush, I'm going to use this peach um, blush right here. This is called Hot Spot, also from the Nightlife Collection. And I'm gonna apply this with a Volare Cosmetics FO2 brush. Tap off the excess. Applying this on the apples of my cheeks. So moving on to highlight, I'm gonna actually use a liquid highlighter first. This is from the Nightlife Collection as well. Um, this is called Afterglow, and I'm just going to apply this on the highest points of my cheeks, dotting it on. So I'm just gonna blend this out with my fingers. So for a more intense highlight now, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm going to use her A23 brush. And I'm going to use the shade right here. This is Sunburst. And I'm just going to apply this on to where I applied that liquid highlight. And just to intensify my highlight a bit more, I'm just going to apply this right on top. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Sigma Beauty F35 Tapered Highlight Brush and just brush off the excess powder from that baking um, method. So I'm going to do one eye off camera and then I'll come back and do the other eye. So I will be right back. Okay, so I did one eye already, and I'm just going to get started on the other eye now. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. And I'm going to blend that out with my finger. And I'm going to apply a base on, and this is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to apply that with a Real Techniques Crease Brush. Alright, so now I'm going to set everything with a setting powder. This is the Banana Powder by Anastasia. I'm just going to set the lid with that so that it makes blending the other shadows a lot easier. Like I said, the tutorial today is going to be using the new uh, the Nightlife Collection by Camila Coelho and Sigma Beauty. So... It's going to be like a purple silver night out look. So the first color I'm going to use is this shade right here. This is called Topaz. And I'm going to take that color with a Sigma E35 brush. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start in the outer part of the eye and bringing that into the crease. And I'm just going to blend this in. It's going to be like our transition color and blending color. Next color I'm going to use is this purple shade right here. This is called VIP and I'm also going to be using a Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm going to start in the outer V and bring it up to that topaz color. But I'm not going to bring it into the crease. I'm going to bring it a little bit below. And I'm going to go in all the way. I like to go back with a fluffy brush to kind of blend everything out. I'm going to use a Sigma E40 brush to blend the edges. I'm gonna go in with this dark purple shade right here, like a dark purple blue shade. This is called Boogie, and I'm gonna use a, another different uh, Sigma E25 brush. I'm not gonna bring it out all the way. I'm just gonna bring it in just a little bit next to that VIP shade and darkening it up. And to add a little bit more depth into the crease, I'm gonna take this shade right here this is called 
Urban Net. I'm gonna use a Firma 201 brush. So for the light shade, I'm gonna use this bright silver, white silver right here. And this is called Disco Ball. I'm gonna use that wet by using some Fix Plus. So to highlight the brow bone, I'm gonna use this kind of matte cream shade right here. Now I'm gonna prep my eyes for lashes and I'm gonna use the Makeup Shack lashes in Slayer today. These have been a huge favorite of mine at the moment and they're really comfortable to wear. So I'm just gonna basically prep my eyes for that by curling my lashes and applying mascara. So I'm gonna start on the lower lash line now. I'm gonna use these two shades, the purple and this one right here, Urbanette and VIP. I'm gonna smoke that out with the eye shading brush, which is the E55. First shade I'm gonna use is the VIP shade to smoke out the lower lash line. So now I'm gonna go in with liner to line the waterline and I'm going to use this eyeliner dual pencil also from the Nightlife collection. I'm going to use this side which is the black side. This is called Eclipse. I'm going to set that with a black matte shadow. So I'm just going to use the black matte from here. Use the Smashbox X-rated mascara to finish off the eyes on the lower lashes. For lips today, I'm going to go with the Nude, and this is from the Nightlife collection as well. This is called Dance Till Dawn, and it's like a pink nude shade. I'm just gonna set everything with my Scandinavia setting spray. And that completes today's tutorial. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment box. Um, next video will be a favorites video, festival edition, letting me talk about what items I like to use to help make my makeup last longer when I go to these festivals. So, I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys like this look. Um, if you guys do recreate it, please tag me on Instagram using my username. I love to see what you guys create. And thank you so much for watching.